his hand. We should start with this. Okay, that's it. But no. Rick Barnes, the latest coach, and in his third year, wins an S. Congratulations, Auburn and Alexander. How about that? Tennessee SEC co-champions there with. Auburn. We waste no time here, and frankly, neither does Rick Barnes. Head coach of the Tennessee Vols, coach, uh, no other way to say this. Congratulations to you. Job incredibly well done. What does a conference title mean? Well, I get back to Rick here in just a minute. I wanted to speak briefly in this video about the job that Rick Barnes has done at Tennessee. You know, when he was hired three years ago, I thought, you know, here's a guy who's probably, probably on his last rodeo as a head coach you know how much how much is he really going to put into his into this job you know he's coming to a downtrodden university that's you know just in the midst of awfulness just like the football program and you know, he, he was canned from Texas where he was for many, many years. And, you know, I thought, will we ever win an SEC under this guy? And then after thinking about it for a little while, I'm like, well, we probably will because he's a great coach. And, you know, great coaches, I don't think, just take jobs to fizzle out and ride off into the sunset with. I I just don't think great coaches do that. You know, great coaches have a fire burning in them until the bitter end. And apparently it's the same with Rick Barnes. Three years in, I didn't see Tennessee winning an SEC championship. Just, I mean, the recruiting wasn't that great out of the gate with Barnes. But, you know, if you look at his career, it never really is. Rick Barnes doesn't recruit a boatload of five-star basketball players. He's had some great players in his career. Kevin Durant comes to mind. There, there's others that if I sat here and thought about it for a few minutes, I'm sure I could think of, but there's not a great player on this team for Tennessee. There's a bunch of really good players and a great team, and that's what it takes to win really any sport is a great team uh pick 13th you guys have heard that in just about every basketball video i've done and and anything you've watched on tennessee basketball you always hear that they were picked 13th out of 14th auburn was picked i think anywhere from 10th to 12th so the fact that these two teams shared the sec conference championship this year is pretty crazy and to think into that just a little bit further, Auburn gets the one seed because they won the only head-to-head -head matchup. And if you go back to that game, Tennessee had an eight-point lead with 30 seconds to go in that game and probably realistically should have won that game. But they didn't, you know. So they're eight points away from being, you know, uh, solo champs or lone champions or whatever you want to call it. But at any rate, they will be hanging a banner, and that's all that matters. And good for Rick Barnes to get the, the uh, Mark Fox Georgia monkey off his back. And it, this streak to Georgia goes back beyond Rick Barnes. I, I think it's been 2014, maybe, since we've beaten them. Several games, maybe eight games, something like that. Seven, eight, nine games. It's been a long time. And to win a share of the SEC conference, doing it against Georgia's, you know, for us fans, it's pretty nice. It's not a football championship, you know, and, and contrary to what a lot of people are going to say or, you know, whatever, it's just not the same for us football fans. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy it. I love, love, love when Tennessee wins in anything. And, 
just to get a championship in a sport that we rarely do so in is great. Um, how about Admiral Schofield? I'm going to make a prediction right now. I predict in his next game he scores 22 points. Why? Because in his last three games he has scored 25, 24, and 23 tonight. So, I don't know. I don't know what the odds are of him bucketing 22 points in the next game, but I'll take it. He has come up huge, and he did again tonight. You know, hitting that jumper to put us up two there at the end, and of course hitting the two free throws at the very end to make the final margin of five points. Oh, how sweet it is, I guess you could say. So I know Uncle Lou really wanted to see Georgia win this game so he could get on camera and make fun of Tennessee and Tennessee fans again. So there's a very small source of enjoyment in that as well because, let's face it, YouTubers, Uncle Lou has had, he's just had his way with Tennessee fans over the last couple of years. And... Unfortunately, our teams haven't done much, if anything, to uh, stop it outside of the Hail Mary down there in Athens. And this tonight, that's really about it. So we'll take it. And that means you, Uncle Lou, get to shut your pie hole, as Catfish likes to say. Uh, that's not it. This team needs to go farther. You know, I'm sure they I'm sure they hungry. I'm sure they don't just want a share of the SEC championship. This team historically does terrible in the SEC tournament. So next week they will go in as a number two seed uh, starting on Friday. Win three games, your SEC tournament champion. Then we move into the NCAA. In order for Tennessee to have an incredible, unbelievable, miracle-type year, they need to win nine more games. That would be an SEC championship and a national championship. Now, the odds of that are probably slimmer than slim, but at the very least, this team has a chance, has a chance to make a little bit of noise they could win the SEC. There's several teams that could win the SEC tournament. Florida is on fire right now. Uh, I would not put it past those guys to win this tournament because they just thrashed Kentucky today, and they thrashed Alabama earlier in the week, and they, they've turned it on here down the stretch. Alabama, I don't know what the hell's happened to them. They've lost five in a row. It's actually their longest losing streak in – God, I can't remember how many years they said earlier. Uh, but I still don't want to see them in the tournament because historically we do not do well. Anyway, Tennessee, co-SEC champions. It's nice. They get to cut down the nets. They get to hang a banner. But I'm sure they want more. Go Vols.